What's up, bros and hoes, wherever floats you go? It's Relentless here, bringing you yet another Division build video, and today we'll be having two Marksman Rifle builds face off against one another, and we'll determine a winner between these two, and then in future upcoming videos, we'll go over the rest that are in, in a part of the Division until finally we crown one complete winner. We'll be going over the pros and cons, as well as going over and uh, let you view a sub gameplay of both builds in action on the PvP side of things. That'll determine uh, the most consistent overall and best out of the two. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you happen to be new to the channel, ground and pound that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so that way you know each and every time a new video goes live. All you have to do is trigger that bell up at the top right. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. First, we'll be going over the Deadeye. Both builds will be consistent of the five piece with Reckless and using the same weapon as you see here, and that is the custom M44. Uh, on the Deadeye, its base damage is 183K and with the talents of Prepared, Deadly, and Competent. Magazine size, crit damage, rate of fire in the magazine, C79 scope with crit damage, crit chance, and in the large muzzle, crit damage, crit chance, and optimal range, and then the under barrel, crit damage, optimal range, and reload speed. And if you don't know what the talent of Deadeye is, two-piece talent is initial bullets ability, three-piece is 20% marksman rifle crit hit damage, the four-piece is when zoomed marksman rifle lose headshot bonus but gain 50% critical strike chance when out of cover and 100% crit critical strike chance when in cover. Five piece is 40% additional uh, bullet stability along with a, another 20% of marksman rifle crit hit damage. All are rolled to the same exact standards more or less. Uh, I tried to get the numbers as close as possible so that way it will be a much clearer and even fight going into it. But as you can see, just as the other, everything is rolled to firearms in this case. So you have a little over 10k firearms. As you've seen in the uh, vids, the damage output is really consistent when it comes to critting. And the most uh, I was able to crit for was 295k. Now let's go on to the contender of uh, the other one, and that is the Alpha Bridge 2 tap. As you can see, it's still utilizing the custom M44, but in this case, it has 192k base damage. We're prepared, deadly, and competent. And since we share the free talent on my secondary, that will be Vicious. And Vicious's crit hit chance is increased by 10% while having more than two segments of health. But let's go over, in case you don't know, the talents in the gear sets uh, and the bonuses of the Alpha Bridge gear set. Two piece is 100% health regen. The three piece bonus is 5% weapon damage. The four piece is if your primary and secondary weapon is of the same category, in this case, the marksman rifle, they share the free talent. All talent requirements are ignored for all weapon talents. And the set bonus is health regen and weapon damage. But as you see, everything is rolled to firearms. It still has the reckless chest piece of Deadeye. I was unfortunate not to be able to come across a uh, Alpha Bridge gloves that are, have the correct rolls that I want. But at least it has a trifecta of crit chance, crit damage, and marksman rifle damage. But unfortunately, this has stamina on it. So you do have a more survivability when it comes the way of toughness. And you are still hitting for 192k versus the 183k of the Deadeye. So let's go over the pros and cons now that you know both talents of both um, builds. And then let's go over the pros and cons, as I said, uh, from the Deadeye versus the Alpha Bridge. When it comes to the Alpha Bridge, one of the cons is um, in your... Primary and secondary, since they both have to be of the same weapon type, so that way they get that free talent. Uh, therefore, you can't run an SMG or an AR into your secondary as you can with Deadeye. So as far as versatility, when it comes to long range and close range, that edge would win out in the way of Deadeye. 
as far as the max damage output of the builds, um, that edge and the pros would lean to the Alpha Bridge, thus hitting for over 40k more in a crit than the Deadeye build. So in that category goes to the Alpha Bridge. But now when it comes to consistent damage, uh, since the Alpha Bridge is dependent not on the crit damage you stack just like Deadeye, but on the Alpha Bridge you aren't getting that 50% crit while out of cover or the 100% critical strike while in cover so it is reflectant and you crit along the lines of how much crit chance you have. So unlike Deadeye, the Alpha Bridge loses to Deadeye when it comes to consistent sustainable damage output that would go to the Deadeye. As far as survivability, of course you have more toughness when it comes to Alpha Bridge, so survivability would go to Alpha Bridge. But that's basically the pros and cons of both. Uh, you've seen, and or about to see I should say, the gameplay of PvP using both builds, and in each clip it is marked, which is Deadeye or the Alpha Bridge. I'll let you decide for yourself um, which one you think edges out over the other. But in my personal opinion, just because of the versatility and when rushed of having that uh, secondary as an SMG and for the sustainable damage output over time and the most consistent, that would have to go to Deadeye. This is a very close race. Um, it also boils down to personal player preference and also um, your aim when it comes to using marksman rifles. But in my opinion, the Deadeye edges out over the Alpha Bridge ever so slightly just for consistency and having that other option as far as switching to an SMG when rushed. But we'll send you over to some gameplay. Uh, watch that. De determine and decide for yourself. And I'm interested to see what you guys think in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment. I do want to know you guys' opinion. And then we'll be going over the other Marksman Rifle uh, gear sets later on which will be the hunter's fate the century and of course this uh, monster as you see right here which is a hybrid of the marksman rifle build which is i don't know it, it, it could be the overall winner we we don't know but it will be interesting to find out so stay tuned for that but enjoy the gameplay <laughs> They're coming back. Oh, that ain't gay yet? No. I dropped Thanks. one, they picked him back up. Oh man. Fuck. Yeah. I'm Get him, get him. That's the guy that I'm bleeding. There's a blue. Good shit. There's a pulse. Like they Got knew him. I was in my menu. Yes, you did. Got him too. Did I? Monster. No bad. Drop another.
Proctor Nomad Dependent. Tam two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. 